Hello guys, welcome back once again in the new video of software engineering and in this video we will talk about what is software crisis. So in this lecture we will cover what is software crisis and what is causes of the software crisis and what is the factor contributing to software crisis and what is the solutions of software crisis. So let's begin. We will discuss each point one by one. So first is software problem or crisis. So actually software crisis is also called problem of the software. So during 1960 to 80, the term software crisis was introduced due to problem related to late and over busted development of software project. So actually before 1960, the software engineers don't know about the software crisis because in this period software engineers faces many type of the problems like over busted development of software projects. So actually software crisis is characterized by an inability to develop software on time within budget and within requirement. So we have mentioned here few reasons of the software crisis like increasing demand. So if the demand of the software is increasing but we are not producing according to demand. So it is a crisis of the software because we are not fulfilling the demand of the software. So second is increasing challenges. If you are facing challenges in the development of the software and we are not fulfilling the requirement. So it is a another crisis of the software engineering and another reason we can say increasing complexity. So if in development of the software, software is very complex to develop. So it is another reason of the software crisis. So many reasons of the software crisis we are facing if it's not fulfilling the requirement of the customer or the client. So it's the another reason of the software crisis. We are using the same tools, we are using same methods and we are using the same workforce. So suppose we have the 10 members of the software development team but the demand and challenges we are facing more and more but we have the same workforce and not fulfilling the requirement of the customer. So it is the another reason of the software crisis. Another point is the what is the causes of the software crisis. So the first cases of the software crisis is the lack of communication between the software developer and the users. So suppose any user want to develop any software but the communication between the software developer and the user or the client is not good. So it is the reason of the software crisis. So another reason we can say increase in size of the software. If the size of the software is increasing and it's not according to budget. So it's the another reason of the software crisis. So another reason we can say increase in cost of development of a software. If the development cost of the software is more than budget of the software. So it's the another reason of software crisis. So the development cost of the software always within budget. If the cost of the development of a software is more than budget. So it's the another reason of the software crisis. So another reason we can say increase in complexity of a software. If the complexity of the software is increasing in development. So it can be the another reason of the software crisis. So another reason is increase in cost of the software compared to hardware. Suppose we are purchasing many hardwares for the development of a software. If that hardware cost is more than the cost of the software. So it's another reason of the software crisis because our development cost should always be less than the budget of the software. So another reason we can say the lack of adequate training in software engineers. If the software engineers is not trained in a particular field or in particular language we are developing the software. So it's the another reason the lack of knowledge of the software is the another reason of the software crisis. So another reason the quality of the software was low quality. So software always be a good quality. If the quality of the software is low, so it will be crash and it will be not coding to the requirement and not fulfill the requirement of the customer. So it will always 
create the problem so it is the another reason of the software crisis so another reason we can say if the software did not meet user requirement so suppose if the software is not according to the requirement of the customer or the user so it's the another reason of the software crisis because it's not meet the user requirement if we are facing challenging to alter debug and enhance if we are not able to change anything in the software we did not able to debug and enhance the software so it's the another reason of the software crisis if the software is frequently crash and it's not working properly so it's the another reason of the software crisis if the project were running over time our software should be completed within time period so if the time of the project is over suppose we are taking two years for the development but our development time is more than two so project running over time so it is the another reason of the software crisis poor project management is the another reason of the software crisis if the management of the software is not good and not understanding the actual problem and actual requirement of the customer so it's the another reason of the software crisis so another reason we can say less skill project members so we can say so if the involvement members in the project is not skilled members so it is the another reason of the software crisis so the solution of the software crisis actually one possible solution for the software crisis is the software engineering because software engineering is a systematic discipline and quantifiable approach so if the project management and the software development team follow the software engineering rules so it's the solution of the software crisis because software engineering is a systematic discipline and quantifiable approach if you are following the software engineering so it means that we are fulfilling all the phases of the software engineering what guidelines we should follow for preventing the software crisis so first we can say reduction in software over budget because software should not be over budget another point we can say quality of the software must be high so if the quality of the software is high so, so the possibility of the software crash will be very low so software always should be a high quality so another point we can say software must meet user requirement so if the software is fulfilling all the user requirement so we will say that it is a good software and it is fulfilling all the requirement and another point we should follow experience and skill people working on the software project so if the experience and skill people is working so software always be a good software because they have already a good knowledge of their domains a very important point that software must be delivered if the software is not delivered so it is a software crisis because software is not delivered to the client so all the development cost is waste so software must be delivered so i hope this video is very helpful so if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel thanks for watching